Ciao mondo. Hello world. Hola mundo. Hello mond. Konnichiwa. Ni hao. We're here today at the IRIM Institute with Professor Bill Clark from the University of Indiana and we are debating one of the most hot topics in uh, renal replacement therapy in ICU patients uh, and patients with AKI. And the topic is, Bill, today, uh, what dose should we prescribe and deliver to our patients? So, would you like just to give an overview of what has been the history of this problem so far? Sure thing, Claudia. Though, so beginning with the advent of CRT back in, in the 1970s and into the 1980s, one of the features was the ability to deliver higher clearances uh, in comparison to intermittent hemodialysis. And we started to use some of the tools that were developed in chronic dialysis to quantify those differences during the course of the 90s. But still, during that time, most institutions that prescribe CRT were doing so in, in kind of a one-size-fits-all approach. Every patient, no matter what, uh, what size, what urea distribution volume and so on, essentially got the same prescription. Then with your landmark trial uh, published in the year 2000, we started to uh, lock into the idea of individualizing treatment uh, using the F1 dose parameter that, that was proposed in your trial. And then during the course of uh, the last decade, of course, we got level one evidence from both the ATN and the renal trial, which further uh, specified to clinicians uh, and, and gave them more insight into how to dose CRT. But now we've reached a point where we need to evolve to the next step and that next step very well may be the use of KT over V, given the success that KT over V has had in chronic dialysis. Well, we should uh, explain a few things. First of all, in many papers, including the Doremi and other papers, it has been shown that most often what you deliver is not exactly what you prescribe, so you have to be extremely careful in monitoring that delivery is exactly coherent with the prescription that has been made. So if you prescribe 25, 30, 35 milliliters per kilogram per hour, you must exactly get delivered that dose. The second point is that recently in the ATKI meeting, we clarified the concept of precision CRRT, which is a personalized prescription. And no better personalization can be done uh, then considering the volume of distribution of a marker molecule such as urea. So we use now again KT over V considering a continuous delivery of renal replacement therapy over 24 hours over seven days per week. And why is that KT over V can be resurrected and used today? Well I think it's well demonstrated in the, in the chronic uh, domain and in the chronic dialysis literature that KT over V is a flexible parameter that can be used to quantify both intermittent and continuous therapies and it's particularly uh, easy to use it in uh, a continuous therapy like CRT as you suggested because uh, you don't have to take into account uh, intermittent effects of, of other modalities so it's perfectly suited actually for CRT. Yeah, in fact, the KT over V is a parameter that suffer from uh, single or double pool kinetics effects when you use intermittent therapies. But when you use continuous therapies, it perfectly correlates with the removal of solutes because it is a continuous clearance that you are taking into consideration. And normalizing this clearance by the number of liters of the volume of distribution in the body gives you a perfect personalization of the treatment delivery. There is one more thing, and uh, you will see this published in blood purification very soon. It is, if you use KT over V using the ideal body weight, and the patient is either overhydrated or the patient uh, suffers from unwanted interruption of the treatment, you think you are delivering the correct 
kt over v but you are actually underdosing your dialysis treatment so our suggestion i think uh, coming up to the final conclusion could be that uh, we can prescribe for example 25 milliliters per kilogram per hour and if we do that continuous this corresponds to a kt over v of one per day which should be the target for prescription and delivery in uh, continuous renal replacement therapy uh, absolutely and as you said this is part of of the of a movement uh, that's been uh, proposed by the Atkey group to personalize the prescription and delivery of CRT and this falls very much in line with that approach. You will see this in blood purification on a paper called Precision CRT Solute Control. With this I thank you very much for joining today Cappuccino and I wish you a wonderful wonderful day from Vicenza. Ah, excellent!